whenever you talk to someone and you ask them about when they really grew up, when they really started following the NFL, usually there's a pretty good time range. Now, for a lot of you younger people, that's probably around 2016, 2017, 2018, when Cam Newton and Odell were taking over the league. But for me, it was the early 2010s when things were just right. The Tom Brady, Peyton Manning dynasties were going at it. You had the Steelers sneaking in there, the Ravens sneaking in there. The AFC South was just the worst division in football. And you had college football was kind of at its peak with the... I mean, Oregon was kind of still up there at the time. Alabama, LSU, Auburn were all kind of powerhouses. So it was just a really good time. And thanks to the Madden community, you can with their custom rosters, you can use stuff from that time period in that 2013 season. So I've decided to do a fantasy draft with the Minnesota Vikings using rosters from 2013. And I built an absolutely stellar team. At quarterback, we have Andrew Luck. Backing him up is Tim Tebow. Even though Andrew Luck is still so good, I will get Tim Tebow playing time. He will play in this team. Running back, we have Adrian Peterson, who was a beast back in the day. Peyton Hillis, a backup, former Madden cover star. Isaac Redman, former Steelers running back. Fullback, we have Mike Tolbert. No explanation needed there. Wide receivers, we have A.J. Green, absolute weapon. Doug Baldwin, this is also a younger Doug Baldwin. We've got old Reggie Wayne, Jericho Cotterie, nothing too crazy there. But we do have Tavon Austin, still when he was young, still when he was crazy good, and Trendon Holiday. Tight ends, we have the great, great Jimmy Graham. I think he was still at the Saints at this time. And we're backing him up, we have Delaney Walker and veteran Dallas Clark. Offensive line, we've got Nick Mangold, Jason Peters, Andre Smith, Kevin Zietler, and college, nothing too, too crazy. And defensively, our D line, led by Sue, who was so good back in the day. We've got Rob Ninkovich and Omenyora on the defensive ends. Linebackers, we have coming off the edge, Terrell Suggs and Clay Matthews, two very underrated pass rushers from that time. Middle linebackers, nothing too crazy there. Corners, we've got Akib Tlee, Patrick Peterson, Asante Samuel. Dre Kirkpatrick. So we've got a very good starting four corners. And safeties, Earl Thomas and Troy Palomalu. Two just very, very good players. And DeKalb and Will Allen as their backups. Special teams, we've got Pat McAfee and Adam Vinatieri, two Colts legends. And Pat Peterson is actually going to be our returner for this year. Special team-wise, or well, specialists. I mean, Peterson's going to be doing it all for the running back position. Put Doug... Baldwin in the slot. Nothing too crazy from any of those positions. And of course, with these fantasy drafts, each each draft is one year long. It's win the Super Bowl or bust. That's just how it works. And hopefully we can get off on the right foot with a game today against the Green Bay Packers. Here are the highlights. Vikings will send out the special teams crew here for a field goal try. From the left hand, should be a fairly easy one here. And his kick is right there. It's so from the 36 now, first and 10. A shotgun snap for Locke. He'll let this go in zone for Green. He's got his man. It's taken in for a freaking touchdown. That didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. On for the field goal try. From the right hash, this from 48. And his kick is indeed good. And they're on the... They were looking for. And this one is right through. And that Maybe that was one of them there that worked. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. From the red zone now, Locke. So we won the game 27 to 10, just pure domination from all three phases. Andrew Locke had himself quite the game, 14 for 15 for 269 yards, two touchdowns, only one incompletion, perfect. Tim Tebow did also get some throws in there, three for five for 44. Running the ball, Peterson found a little bit of success, nine carries for 46 yards, no touchdowns. 
Andrew Luck, 3 for 15 and a touchdown. Hillis, 3 for 13. Redmond, 2 for 9. And Tebow, 3 for 1. I forgot this was kind of like later career Tebow. He's not as fast as he used to be. Receiving-wise, A.J. Green, 5 catches, 156 yards and a touchdown. He's very much just the run, run a streak. I'll just throw it to you deep. Doug Baldwin had 4 catches, 53 yards and a touchdown himself. Jimmy Graham, 4 for 47. Delaney Walker, 2 for 32. Reggie Wayne, 1 for 14. And Peterson, 1 for 11. Tim Jennings was our leading tackler with 4. Clay Matthews had 2 sacks. Earl Thomas and Suggs combined for a sack as well. Adam Vinatieri was perfect kicking the ball. And now it's time to face off against the Detroit Lions. Another divisional game. Hopefully it'll go well for us. Here are the highlights. In punch territory. Brandon, he's been so precise to start this game. Like we're watching it. And he fires one that's intercepted. And the Vikings are going to get it. And the first play will be a field goal try. From the right hash here should be an easy one. And his kick is indeed good. One on second and goal. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. Four after that incompletion on second down. To throw his lock. Looking for Green and it's intercepted. They juked him. And the Lions are going to take possession of the four. Down and four after that incompletion on second down. Smith. Touchdown! A great effort there. Interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So looking for Baldwin intercepted. And the Lions are going to take possession of the football. And they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse. That would help open up this offense. Oh, it's out. Smith lost it. And his guys are going to take over at the 21 and 5. After the pickup of 5, here's 2nd and 5. Here's Locke. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. And the Lions are going to take will split the uprights. It's right down the midst to get right back into this football game. Peterson will score. Touchdown Vikings. King territory now. They'll come up first and 10 at the 46. Oh no, he lost the football. And the Vikings pick up the football. And they take over the way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Throwing again is locked. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This for the lead in the final stages. And this one is right down Broadway. And it's down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. And his kick here is good. And they a critical mistake roughing the passer. Now it's first and goal. Back to throw, Smith. And this will be caught. It's a touchdown. An absolute stunned silence here as they have come in and stolen this one in overtime. So we did lose this game 26-20. to I mean, quarterbacking-wise, it just wasn't my greatest game. 16 for 34, 222 yards, three interceptions. Not all of them were my fault, but I do have to take a lot of blame for that. And we just didn't run the ball. Might have been the reason why we didn't do so great. I mean, had two rushing touchdowns, but seven total run plays, three of those being scrambles. Not the best of decisions. Doug Baldwin did have a very good game, though. Eight catches, 134 yards. But A.J. Green, one for nine, just couldn't not get that deep ball to work. And that's probably another reason why we didn't do so well. And Tim Jennings had eight total tackles. They had the Their offense had the ball a lot. Two, I mean, three sacks. Still pretty standard. One interception. Venetary was perfect, just wasn't our game, but we do have a very good bounce back game now against the Chicago Bears, who are 0-4, so we should we should really win this game. I fully expect us to dominate them in this game. Here are the highlights. At their 38, 
Lob. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. Got a man, it's caught at the six yard line. Kick is good, and they are on. Every exit door, that was surrounded. I think that was supposed to be a bootleg, but he had no chance to get outside the pocket. And oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. And the Bears are going to take possession of the football. They're going to take off and run for yardage, but what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, Defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them, and I think that discouraged him. A surprise who they were throwing the ball to. He's their best guy. Yeah, we knew that they would get him involved early. They're doubling down on getting him involved early. Don't be surprised. That's into a crowd and intercepted. And the Bears are going to take yards. In today's NFL, you know, we talk about quarterbacks and their speed and accuracy, but there's still something about that. He had opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Again, luck. And he will score! Touchdown, Vikings! Following the fumble recovery, Sanchez. And now this is intercepted, my goodness! And the Vikings force the turnover. They'll take over at their own 27. Pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. To throw again on second down. Luck, and he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. That first half, good through the air, and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game worked. And Peterson, what happened? He lost the football. And this is picked up by the Bears. Oh, some strong running. And they bring this one back. A fumble return for a Bears touchdown. Being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. He's going to air it out deep for Green. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. He's going to win that battle just about every time. Back to throw, Sanchez. Looking for Johnson, and it's intercepted. Take this one home. It's a touchdown. Ball, but they trail on the scoreboard as we get set to bring you the fourth quarter. Escaping the pressure right. Now he'll let it go deep right side. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. And the Vikings are going to take possession as they got it at the 42 yard for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming out. He's got a man complete. Touchdown. A.J. Green. 57 yards. And the Vikings They've got to pay it off with some points. Touchdown, Bear. So we did win this game 43-25. Very, very good bounce back game after that loss to the Lions. Andrew Luck played pretty good. I mean, 355 passing yards, three touchdowns, and a pick. Pretty good. Tim Tebow, though, had a rough, rough game. I mean, it was an interception. It's going to happen, but that was that was rough. Peterson, I mean, didn't really run the ball that much. Luck himself, two rushing touchdowns on three carries. So it was definitely a pass-first team, especially since A.J. Green, five catches, 270 yards, three touchdowns. I mean... As stupid as it is, if there's ever, I mean, if he's ever one-on-one -on -one with a the corner, there's no, no shot that they are ever going to stop him. He's six foot four, big and fast. No tiny little corner is going to be able to stop him. Paul Malu led the team in tackles with seven. Sack Sue and Matthews, along with Takaud, had one. Nice little safety sack there. Tim Jennings himself had two interceptions. Asante Samuel had an interception. And Vinatieri, no field goals needed, perfect from extra points. And that puts us at 3-3 three and three in the division, second place. I mean, pretty good place to be in. I just, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of games left to go. We're doing pretty good. I mean, even that Lions game, we barely lost. So, if I don't throw three interceptions, we win that game. So, it's pretty simple. 
I just got to not throw those, that many interceptions, and we will do well. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and also will enjoy this series. I plan on doing another one with rosters from 2005, and probably, since I'm having so much fun doing this one, another one from 2013. And if there's any other like rosters that you know out there on Madden 23 that you want me to do something with, I will gladly do it. But that is it for today. Subscribe if you enjoyed, and I hope to see you all in the next video.